Now, a so-called coffee Bible has been designed in Scotland to help farmers in Malawi raise a coffee crop instead of tobacco. The plan builds on strong connections between the two countries, which saw the first coffee plants taken from Edinburgh's Botanic Gardens to the African nation back in the 1870s. Murak Kinneborough reports. Roasting coffee beans from Malawi, part of an attempt to help the African nation trade its way out of poverty. Experts here in Scotland have come up with a blueprint to develop better crops. Coffee quality has improved massively over the last 20 years globally. So what the coffee manual is trying to do is to uh, help Malawian coffee growers understand what that change has been and to help them learn techniques that have been put in globally to help them improve their quality. Thousands of miles away, coffee farming is changing. Instead of planting high-yield but low-quality crops, they're moving to more sustainable speciality coffee and replacing the declining tobacco crops in the hope of a more prosperous future. I want to encourage others to grow coffee instead of tobacco which they plant every year. Coffee is not labor intensive yet, the proceeds are good. Bonds between the two countries are strong. The aim is to offer a mutually beneficial relationship, trade, not aid. This project is about combining expertise in Scotland with expertise in Malawi. It's going to help um, increase um, the exports of coffee from Malawi. That's going to help reduce the trade deficit in, in the country. It's going to help reduce the dependence on the tobacco exports. Um, in Scotland, it's going to provide us with some absolutely world-class coffee. There are some promising signs. Scottish sales of one Malawian coffee brand have increased 83% on last year. Welcome news for one of the world's poorest countries. Maura Kinnebra reporting Scotland, Edinburgh. Now, exactly 800 years ago today...